Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Do you remember in August when I finally got around to doing my empties video and I said I had more to do and there'd be a part two? Well, I, do I videoed it, but I forgot to load it. So anyway, here's part two of my August 2021 empties. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to part two. I have no idea how long it's going to be before I show part one and part two, but I figured as long as I had all my trash here, I might as well finish it, right? Instead of hauling it back to another room and then hauling it back later. So anyway, we got uh, finished the fun part of my empties, which was one you of know, my empties. <sighs> so anyway, on to the more boring things that probably are the most people things that people want to hear. So anyway, when I had was working on my other empties, I had mentioned that I had done Isogenics, uh, the protein shakes, that I had done it for quite a while, like a year and a half, maybe two years every morning for breakfast. And the last few months, um, something changed with the formula and it wasn't as creamy, it was powdery, it wasn't dissolving. And I had emailed customer service a few times and then finally, um, I just canceled because they weren't answering me on what the difference was. But in the meantime, I tried to figure out what I could add to it to kind of give it back that creamy texture and to get it to dissolve better. So I bought this Nature's Bounty, which was a complete protein and vitamin shake mix. And I tried mixing like a, a scoop of this with a scoop of the Isogenics and that didn't work. It was still just as crappy. Um, I bought some Nutrisystem. Um, they have like a kind of shake powder too. And yeah, that didn't help the Isogenics, but that was good on its own. So I just finished those on its own and I, I don't think I saved any packets because I couldn't find them in the kitchen. I must have been one time that I was trying to clean up the trash pile. Alrighty, like I said, it's been a while. Not that I really stink that much, but I am a secret girl, so I've got a couple of secret deodorants. I don't always use primer, but um, but when I do. So anyway, I, had, I happen to have some uh, Bare Minerals primer and I finished using that. I don't use it every day if I know that I'm going to be maybe trying or I think that maybe I'm going to try to do a video after work because I'm working so many hours and I don't want to come home and fix my face because I'm basically la lazy and with a ring light who really knows what you can see and what you can't see on my face. So but on days that I know or think I'm going to be filming I'll use the primer. And I probably have a couple of bottles of these in here. This is just the Sustain Eye Drops. And I forgot the what other one. Every time I forget what I'm supposed to buy, I, I look because there's another one that um, my oncologist mentioned too. And these, I, I have to use them like every day in my one drippy eye. And sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. It's just I just have from when they operated to get the tumor out behind my eye, it just it caused a lot of scar tissue that is continuing to grow and press on my tear ducts. So they're just constantly, that one eye is constantly producing um, tears. So that's supposed to try to help and it does help quite a bit. This I got in one of my boxes and something about a carrot. Pure Elements Wild Carrot Serum. Um, you know, I didn't really notice any difference on this, so I would probably never purchase it. But if I got it in another box, seeing how I didn't remember if it did or didn't work, I would use it again. This I probably also got in either a Look Fantastic or a, gl or a Glossy box. It's from Murad. Hydration. And it's a water gel. And I used it. I can't say that it did any anything. I mean, I would use it again if it came in another box, but if it came up in like a pop-up for an add-on or something, then I probably would not get it because I don't remember what it did. I probably have a couple of these in here. Um, the IT Cosmetic, the CC Cream. I like this because it's got a 50 um, SPF and maybe my shade is Vanilla, light medium. I I don't know where I got vanilla from. I'm, I must be getting hungry. But I use a light medium and I do love this. I would definitely use it again. I do have it on auto delivery. But because I also get bare minerals from QVC on auto delivery, I think I get this like every three to four months. Because I like to mix things up. Speaking of bare minerals, I love using this one. Maybe this one is the vanilla. Yeah, this one's the vanilla. And this is their complexion 
rescue this one's got an SPF of 30 and I do have this on auto delivery too with uh, QVC so I get this probably like every three months or so because I alternate it with that this is Madison Reed uh, and I get this with this one is a conditioner I thought I would have a shampoo here because I go through probably takes me a long time to go through a bottle of their shampoo but I probably go through twice as many conditioners um, love the scent of this um, I've learned that I don't need as much as I think I do and I get this like every eight weeks I get it with the um, the Madison Reed hair dye so I probably would still get it because I didn't take it out of my um, auto delivery yet but I do find I did find another kind of shampoo thing that I like so I'm looking for the matching conditioner so while I'm there I might as well show you what that shampoo is that I like so this is by Christoph Robin and I forgot what box I got this one in but so this is the one that I thought it's the uh, purifying scrub with sea salt and I thought it was would be just like a, a scrub for your your scalp and then you would use the shampoo but no this is like the shampoo too and the first time I used it I mean it said something like use two tablespoons and I'm like what the heck is two tablespoons going to do and so I, I take a big scoop in my hand I didn't think I was ever going to get this, the shampoo out this lathers like nobody's business um let's see I've got and now I'm probably using about a tablespoon and that's all I need but it it doesn't really make it through to my scalp before it just kind of dissolves and melts and turns into the best shampoo Oh my God, I love the scent. So I would love to, in one of my boxes, get the conditioner to match the scent at a good price or, for, or you know, in the box. Yeah, but I would definitely look for this in, in an add-on. Um, I don't think I would pay full price for it, but I would definitely, definitely pick it up if it came up in one of the pop-up or add-ons. Love this. Okay, speaking of like why I don't... Um, buy a lot of face cleansers this one probably also came in a glossy box or look fantastic it's the uh, first aid beauty um i did like it i think it worked worked nice on my face my face felt nice and smooth and hydrated after but i probably wouldn't buy it only because i get so many many cleansers in the different boxes this i really couldn't say it's that triple one skin or the 111 skin that came in a box and I think what it's supposed to do, I think it's supposed to maybe help um, help with your circulation to maybe give your skin a healthy glow, even though it says like sports booster or something. I think that's what it's supposed to do, kind of help with circulation. I do enjoy using it. Not sure if it really makes a difference. Would never pay full price, but I love getting them in boxes to use. Okay, another eye drop. And Scentsy, the bath salts. This is the aloe water and cucumber. Love using their bath products. I would probably not buy this only because I get them in my whip boxes every now and then. And so, yeah, I'm good. All right, that's one, one box down. Okay, let's move to this one. All righty, so Aveda. And I did get this in one of my boxes. This was the Damage Remedy. And um, I used to when I used to go to get my hair cut, I used to go like every five years, or I used to before I started just cutting it off myself. Um, I would donate my hair and I went to Aveda quite a bit. So I used their products like the Brilliance line, but I know that they did use this. Um, I don't know, this time I, I didn't really see a big difference. I did use it after I shampooed my hair. I would probably not buy it again, but if I got it in a box, I would use it. And that was called the Damage Remedy. All right, so. I wanted to, to do something for my nails. So I bought this probably at Walmart, um, the Biotin Spring Valley. And it's supposed to be like for hair, skin, and nails. So I think I probably went through three of these. I really didn't see any difference, but I thought, well, I was just getting it. You know, every time I put in an order, you know, for the Walmart grocery or something, I put it in there. And then in one of my boxes, could have been Ipsy, could have been BoxyCharm. I got this Tula. And before I even finished using this bottle, my nails were so much better because I broke this one today. So I did buy another one of these in the add-on and I was so disappointed that when I looked in this month's add-ons, I didn't see it. I can see this on QVC, maybe it's $60 or someplace up there. I'm not gonna pay $60, but I would definitely buy it again. 
in an add-on of pop-up from BoxyCharm or Ipsy. Love this. I think it worked really good. And the gummies taste good, too. Alrighty, masking. So, I think I got this at Ulta. It came in like a package with a couple of Freeman things with a little spatula. It's a peel-off mask. And I did uh, enjoy using it. I think it uh, worked for what it was supposed to do. It didn't hurt my skin coming off. Um, I do like the sheet mask better only because I feel like they hydrate my skin more. But maybe every now and then I think I do need a peel-off mask just to maybe deep cleanse the pores. So I would definitely use it again. Don't see a problem with it. Uh, this I think I got on Amazon. I think someone had recommended this uh, coconut oil from Mark Anthony as a sleeve-in conditioner. And, um, yeah, it, it smelled nice, but, yeah, it just, yeah, it didn't, yeah, I wouldn't buy it again. This I got on QVC. It's um, from Tarte. It's that Ready, Set, Radiant. It's that facial spray that you can use to set after you use your makeup. You can use it during the day just to stay hydrated, hydrate your skin, feel refreshed. I got this as part of one of their Today Special Values, so I think it came with, like, the clay, um, uh, foundation and and maybe something else and and this i did like it um i would probably buy it again if i needed it but i do have some in some boxes that i need so i yeah but i would probably get it again i mean i didn't see anything wrong with it all right so this was some elixir and i got this in one of my boxes as well pretty blue bottle i don't even remember what it is with a little tiny writing on the back. But, um, some kind of solution for glowing skin. I mean, I didn't see a difference using it. I would probably never buy this again. I wouldn't probably even put it in like an add-on, but if I got it in a box, I would use it. Okay, it Superhero Mascara. This I probably got as part of a today's special value. Every now and then QVC will have special values that they'll have like the, the foundation and the pores no more like the, um, the powder that you put on. And so this was probably part of a today's special value. Um, it coated well, but I thought it clumped a lot on me. So I would not buy it when it was on its own. But if it came as part of another today's special value, I would use it. And this uh, was Soft Focus glow drops from Rodile. Um, pretty bottle. I would have probably got it in one of my boxes. I did use it. Whether or not I noticed a difference, I don't know. I wouldn't go looking for it to buy it on its own, but if it came in a box, I would use it. This is Peach and Lily, and I think I got this on Alter. And, um, there was someone that was watching that, that swore by this product, so I tried some of it, and this was the Glass Skin Refining Serum. So I think I got this and a mask from them. Um, didn't really notice a difference on me. If I did get it in a box, I would probably use it. I wouldn't go looking for it if it wasn't an add-on, and I probably would never buy it again at Ulta. All right, this is a uh, sugar scrub from Scentsy. This one was the Perfectly Peppermint, so this probably came out around Christmas time. Love the scent. I love this product. I mean, when you first kind of, it's kind of wet and whatever, so you just do have to kind of stir it up to get that sugar all um, smoothed around in there to mix it well before you put it on. Love using it. it. My skin just feels so nice afterwards. I've got Luna that's open. They had one um, in the fall that was like a kind of a pumpkin scent. Yeah, I would definitely use this again. I probably wouldn't buy it, only because I get them in the whiff box. This was like the first eye cream, and it either came from Ipsy or BoxyCharm, and it was Pure Hearts eye cream, and I did enjoy using this. I used this. Um, this was like my day eye cream, and then I had bought this off QVC from the Lancer, their diamond lined under eye cream. So this I used every night. Um, can't say that I used a difference. I think this was like $90. Um, I did have it on auto delivery, but I canceled before my next shipment was coming up. And it probably took me almost nine months to use this, using it just once a day. And like I said, I think I got this in the fall, and I just finished it recently. So, And this I would use during the day, and that Lancer I would use at night. Um, can't say that I noticed a difference. I do see that my um, 
the lines over here are getting a little bit more pronounced than they were so I probably would not buy either one of these again but I would be looking and I do have other ones to try that I got in boxes for a different type of eye cream I think I'm making a dent alrighty so this is a detox pads and oh my god there were 60 pads in here and this I think I got in like my very first FabFitFun box and I think I only got two boxes and it took me probably almost a year to use them because I kept forgetting to use them but they stayed moist till the very last one was still moist um, I would probably not buy it again but if it came in a box I would use it I think we all see a pat in here right I'm a cheap little thing well maybe not little but I'm a cheap thing alrighty so this um I got fortune cookie soap for a while and this was one of my favorites this was like the first box that I got I was watching Jennifer she changed the name of her channel um maybe it's now magical muse or something like that but she was getting the fortune cookie soap and I watched her every month do it and then when I saw her get this themed one I had to get it so this is my very first one and it's only a dream and this one smelt amazing it's a whipped cream and even though as you can see it's empty it's been rinsed out it still smells amazing yeah it makes me want to join up again just so I can get some things but they were kind of building up on me I didn't think they would but this one oh my god that smelled amazing so this was a Hava some kind of we're almost done a Hava hand cream and this I think I got in FabFitFun as well and so it took me a while to go through it because I usually keep you know they're like I could hand lotions all over the place they're on my desk at work they're on a bookcase at my desk at work I put some in the ladies room I have hand creams everywhere so it takes a while to go through them um, I would probably not buy it again but I would use it if it came in another box alrighty skin incorporated so this is a another serum and I think one month in the add-ons and I hadn't got them before but there was a yellow one and a pink one and the price was pretty good in the add-ons or the pop-ups whatever you want to call it so I ended up um, ordering two, both of these the yellow and the pink one and then that month in whatever box it was could have been BoxyCharm I also got one in there um, I would not buy it again I still have some unused it's just it's very watery it's not like an oil it's just very like water it just kind of sits there it doesn't seem to soak into your skin it doesn't seem to do everything anything it seems to take forever to soak in I usually end up blotting it off so that I can move on with my day or night so I wouldn't buy them again I probably am gonna throw out the ones that I didn't open yet I probably wouldn't give them as a giveaway because if I don't like it why would I give it to anyone alrighty so we're almost done alrighty so eye patches and of course I've probably thrown out more because I kept forgetting but an assortment of eye patches plus I've got um, that one that's got the gem from Ipsy whatever I've got a couple of bottles of those that come with the 30 in a pack so I've been using those but a lot of these I threw out and did any of them stand out any better than the other ones no but I'm gonna continue to use them these were neck neck uh, patches and I had a hard time with these this one was really really pretty I ended up using two that day and it it does really look like that it looks like you're wearing like a necklace or something and um, yeah it just it didn't stay on so I mean I put a towel around it trying to keep it on and I finally gave up and then I even used you know those little headbands that we all have with the little things sticking up I put that on it but then that kind of absorbed all the stuff in it and that's what happened with this one too this one felt really nice and it was a lot uh, thicker like a more like a silicone one and um, it felt really nice but if you use them you have to kind of lay down and not do anything because if you put anything on it whatever you put on it absorbs everything out of it I would and I still have some to use I would use them again but it's been probably six months and I haven't used them since so yeah it's just something that you you have to remember that you have to do nothing you just have to lay down and do nothing so these are different um, face masks this one still has stuff in it this one was from Freeman I think I got this on my one of three trips to the dollar store and uh, yeah I as soon as I put it on I didn't even finish getting it over my cheeks and my face was burning so 
it's still in here and yeah I've just been waiting to uh, it just my skin was raw and it wasn't even on for I'm gonna say less than 30 seconds and my skin was burning and I washed off and my skin was burnt it was it was it was not good but this one was one that I used that was in the same pack and I used this one first and this one I had no problem with so and again I'm not going to show them all but I've just uh, these are the different masks that I remember not to throw out um, I'm not going to say that any worked better than any of the others I mean I've got the 111 skin in here that's an expensive one I've got the ones from the dollar store um, I've got ones from face story that are pretty cheap I've got the pure lease that I like I got I think I got one Walmart box and this was in there and I, to me they all kind of work the same um, my skin just felt really nice and hydrated afterwards uh, using the sheet mask and I love it when there's extra serum in there so I can kind of put it on my hands after and just let it kind of soak in before I go to bed and yeah so yeah so anyway this is running 20 minutes but you know what oh my gosh I finished so I'm so excited I'm so excited my empties are done I can start over so anyway, thanks everyone for joining me. Um, sorry to run so long on these. And uh, yeah, so I hope you have a great day. Anything you wanted to add to this? Anything I should be looking for? Or um, things that maybe I didn't think I saw a difference? Maybe you know what the difference is that I should be looking for. If I don't know what difference I'm looking for, maybe I did see a difference and didn't know it. But anyway. Thanks again, everyone. I hope you go out. Have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. You guys, I feel so blessed to have you guys in my life. I love you guys so much, and I'm so appreciative of your time. So, bye-bye, everyone. We will chat again soon. Bye-bye.